Okay, here we have another Newton's Law problem, but this time with um, a body, and we're trying to find the time of death. So we found the body at 9 p.m., and we know that the temperature of the body at that moment is 90 degrees. And we say that one hour later, the temperature of the body is 89 degrees. And then we're told that the environmental temperature is 70 degrees, and the normal temperature is 98.6. So let's say that the body is found at time x, and that temperature is 90 degrees, and then at time x plus 1, the temperature is 89 degrees. So we'll measure x as time in hours. Now it says write the differential equation for t. So that is going to be the change in temperature with respect to time is the constant of proportionality times temperature minus the environmental temperature of 70 degrees. So that's your answer for a. Now b it requires us to get to the solution equation. So that will be temperature equals AE to the KT plus 70. And then we're told that the normal body temperature for the body is 98.6 degrees. So my A value has to be 28.6 because 28.6 plus 70 gets me my initial value. Now I need to write two separate equations where I'm plugging in these two points. So my first equation is right here, T equals 28.6 E to the K plus 70, and actually T back over here, sorry about this, the T value has to be 90 there. So I'm plugging in temperature of 90 and I'm plugging in one hour. So my little t was one. My second equation is going to be 89 equals, um, actually I'm not plugging in time equals 1, I'm just plugging in time equals x, so that should be kx right there. My second equation is 89 equals 28, that's an equal sign, 28.6 e to the k times x plus 1 plus 70. And then I think the easiest thing to do would be to subtract 70 from both sides of both equations. So we'll have 20 equals 28.6 e to the kx and 19 equals 28.6 e to the k times x plus 1. And now I'm going to suggest actually we could go ahead and divide both sides of each equation by 28.6, but we can actually do something a little bit different. I can actually take the ratio, let's see, between both sides of this equation and maintain the equality because of the exponential growth um, nature of this equation. So 20 over 19 will equal these, the 28.6's will cancel. So 20 over 19 will equal e to the kx over e to the kx plus k, and I figured that out by distributing the k down there. Then I will get that 20 over 19 equals e to the kx, and then I can subtract my bottom exponent, minus kx minus k, because remember I'm distributing the negative exponent for both of these um, parts, both of the terms in the exponent. The kx is cancel, so I'll be left with 20 over 19 equals e to the negative k. So let's go ahead and pull out the calculator and solve for k. I have the solve button and then 20 divided by 19 equals e raised, and I'll just use negative x here, close paren on that exponent, comma x, close paren, and I find out that my k value is the ln of 19 over 20, which is the equivalent in decimal form of, um, let's see, negative 0.0512. So k equals negative 0.0152, which is the same thing as the ln of 19 over 20, and let me go back and make sure I wrote that down right. I did. Okay, good. So now I can go back to, the, the next question is, they really want to know when the, the murder occurred. So let's go back to our original equation here that had the very first value of just time equals x when we found the body, 
and let's plug in the k value that we have here. So when I do that, I'm going to get that um, 90 equals, so 90 equals 28.6e to the ln of 19 over 20 times, times x plus 70. And I now need to solve this in my solver for uh, the x value, which will be effectively how many hours went by when we found this body. So let's bring the calculator in and we're going to do the solver again. So I need F2 solve 90 equals 28.6 times e raised to the ln of 19 divided by 20 times x, close paren for that exponent, plus 70, comma x to solve it for the number of hours that went by. And you'll see that 6.973 hours went by, so that means that the body was found 6.973 hours prior to when the body was found.